Hey everyone, this is the first video in a video series about how to install an SD-WAN lab in GNS3. Um, I decided instead of making a blog post, I was going to uh, do a video series. And people have done how to do it on KVM. Um, I've seen people do it at EVMG. So I just wanted to show everyone how to do it on GNS3 because I don't think anyone has, has done a tutorial like this before. Um, in this first video, though, what we need to do is just go over some of the prerequisites we need. And it's a little bit tricky because when you're labbing SD-WAN, you have to have a, um, a smart account and you have to do a little bit of setup. Now, I unfortunately can't show you all of that because a lot of it is some of my company information and I don't want to put that in the video. Um, but I'm on my personal account right now which doesn't have any real i don't have a smart account to be honest in my personal account <clears throat> but what i wanted to show you is some of the things that we need to do so the first one is you have to go down here to manage smart account and you need to add a new virtual account um this will be your labs smart account um <clears throat> and then what you do is you go into plug and play connect and i do have some stuff in plug and play connect um, from my my work account i'm just trying not to show you any confidential information so <clears throat> what you have to do is you actually have to go over here um get rid of the pop-ups and you need to create a controller profile and create the controller profile profile for your V bond. And here's where you're going to put the IP address of your V bond. Now this can be an internal IP address. It doesn't really matter because we're going to use it in GNS3. Um, the other thing you'll do is when you go to it, um, plug and play connect, you're going to also have to go to devices. You're going to need to add devices. And I don't think um, if you go in there, just add software devices. And all you're basically gonna do is add CSR 1000 Vs and V edges, um, which hold on to me. Sorry, this is a little tricky without, without giving you guys any of my company information. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, here are, the, here are the V edges as well. So you can see I have some CSR 1Ks and V edges. And all you really do is um, it's add software devices, excuse me, because we're doing virtual ones. And add software device. So here's where you would put in the edge cloud. You know, you could put in 10 for your quantity. And then you would put your controller profile here. Okay. So once you have that, you go back to your controller profile and you download this provisioning file. This provisioning file is going to be saved as serial file.biptella. We're going to need this. So in a future video, when I'm setting up vManage, um, we'll see that we need this file. So that's one of the prerequisites. The other quick prerequisite I just wanted to go over is actual the GNS3 setup. So you need a VM. I have a VM set up in ESXi. I have given it plenty of CPU. Um, I give it plenty of RAM. We could actually go in there and see memory. I gave it 64 gigs. CPUs, I gave it eight. Um, CPUs is really the big one. It, it really hits the CPU. The other thing though, is you want to give it two network adapters. And one of them is going to be the actual network card for the GNS3 appliance. The other one is going to be for, um, an adapter. And when you go to network adapters, <clears throat> I'm sorry, networking, we're going to want to go to properties and choose your virtual net, virtual machine network that you created and hit edit. Make sure all these are set to accept. 
promiscuous mode, MAC address changes, and forwards transmits. This will allow us to access our vManage from outside the GNS3 environment, um, which you'll see in a moment. So honestly, that's it for this video. Super dry, super boring. But in the next video, I will start to install the controllers.